Okay, let's go around. Let's get a vehicle from a couple of continents around the planet. Let's do the Western world. Let's do an Aussie car, a UK vehicle, and an American vehicle. Jeff, thanks for having a chat, mate. Yes, mate. What did you bring today to the classic cars and coffee? Well, we bought out the uh, 1988 uh, HSV, SV88. It's the first model in the HSV series. And uh, I've had it for about uh, 30 years. It's uh, knocking on 34 years now in, in age. So I pride myself in it being uh, unmodified. Um, so what you see is how it come out of the factory uh, in a limited edition number. They made 150 of these. Wow. And at the moment, there's, uh, I'm a member of the SV88 uh, Owners Club. There's about 50 left in the country. And um, this is number 102. Um, so uh, it's served me well. I've had it many years, and I've had it parked up for about 13, 14 years, which helped preserve it. But uh, looking after them really does uh, preserve them. Yeah. Yep, and you've got a book that I can see from here, yeah. mate. World's most expensive Commodore. Yeah. How much was she, mate, back in yeah. 40, 1988? 44000 in 1988. How many houses could you buy back then, yeah. mate, for that? Uh, probably about... Uh, <laughs> three? Probably, yeah, about three houses, yeah. yeah. They yep. did come with the option of a uh, phone fax. Uh, this one didn't come with that, but that combination, I think, was about $7,000, so... Yep. <laughs> relate that, you know. But uh, yeah, so unchanged. Yep. And when I come up to you, mate, I did think it was an RB being the VL. I did not know they come out in the HSVs. No, that's right. Yeah. In, in this model HSV, the SV88, they did not bring out, uh, did not carry through with the uh, RB30 um, engines. Um, these come uh, with the five litre iron block, four barrel uh, Rochester carby. Um, it was only a limited edition, and, and that's it. You know, everybody knows VLs by the Japanese RB30 motors, yep. and they're excellent motors, but uh, they're not in not in this model. Well, and uh, you said it's the, the engine's all original, mate. You've kept it's, it. It's all original. Yep. Um, purposely, I've uh, have not changed it. How many Ks have you rucked up? It's on done it? 239,000. Yep. So you get around do you, to these events. I and do. That? I love yep. to use it. Yeah. Yep. I use it as a driver for about 10 years, and then I had it parked up for another 14 years, which uh, helped keep it down a bit. But uh, I've actually done nothing uh, mechanically to it. Engine still running strong. Changed the uh, uh, front timing seal, inlet. Uh, manifold gasket, that's it. Yep, transmission, mate. What are they coming Transmission, out with? this is a standard, the old three speed auto. Yep. Uh, which was all they fitted in these. Um, after this model, they started going more gears and more grunt. But uh, it's not a race machine, it's a, more or less a executive type um, uh, market. Mate, extremely executive, I think, being that much. <laughs> What, what they start with is a Calais, thus the pop-up front headlights. Yep. And one of the reasons for that is because the, uh, all the soundproofing um, is very well done on these. Um, and then they start from that, uh, that was the top model, Calais. And then they put the uh, Momo steer, uh, wheels on it. They put the FE2 suspension, uh, the steering wheel, um, all the upholstery is different, um, SV coated seats. Um, little bit of work on the engine, leftover bits from HDT uh, versions. So it's got good good heads, good valves, uh, but not a lot more. Uh, yep. Extractors, things like that. Yep. No worries, mate. Thanks for bringing her out today. Yeah. And, no um, yeah. Cool. Keep her original, mate. I will. Okay, Lee. Hi, how you doing? Welcome to Australia, mate. It's hot, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so what, it's not even that hot today, mate. It is, it's, like, it's perfect. It's that hot. It's like being stood next to an electric car on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Australia, mate. Thank you. Tell my viewers. I am the Mac Master. If yeah. you want to subscribe to me, go over to my channel, The, and then M-A-C-M-A-S-T-E-R, The Mac Master. I do all things, really. Food, travel, tech, electric car. I have an electric car, but, you know. <laughs> oh, my channel, my viewers aren't going to like that, mate. Just
<laughs> no, they love my channel because I slate them. I'm okay. actually, I'm actually surprised because I have the Porsche Taycan that Porsche don't ask me for the car back because they just, I mean, come on, they're just soulless, <laughs> lifeless. You walk around here on a day like this with all these classic cars, and it shows you really these cars have character, they have soul, and you don't get that out of an electric car, do you? It's just no. it's crazy. What years are that? Porsche. What year is yeah. it? Uh, Must be a new one then. It's the Porsche Taycan. It's yeah. two two years old. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's fast, but it makes a noise like a wash wash washing machine when you accelerate. Yeah. It's just nah. They just. I think it's some kind of. I won't go into it, but I, I think that personally, if you head over, head over and watch, you'll see. I think it's something about control. That's what I think it's about. But I may be wrong, you know. Yeah. And it may be the future, and then I'll my channel won't date very well with it. <laughs> So Porsche must be doing a whole range of vehicles, are they? So you've got the electric range, they've obviously got their newer cars with the Boxster motors as well. Well, yeah. the, bo the Boxster, the Porsche Boxster hasn't... They, sorry, sorry, have they got hybrids as well? The they have hybrids, they yeah. Do, yeah. They yeah. have just brought out the Porsche Macan, uh, which is the uh, SUV, uh, mini SUV. That's gone electric now, all electric, no more motor vehicles on that, no more internal combustion engine. The next one on their list is, sound like a salesman for Porsche, don't it? <laughs> <laughs> the, next one, the next one on the list is the Porsche Boxster, which I've had, I've had eight of those, eight Porsche Boxsters. And the thing about the Porsche Boxsters is getting the roof down, listening to the sound of it, and they're going to put an electric engine in it. You might as well be sat on the top of a washing machine, you know, and uh, some people might like that, I don't know. <laughs> Controversial. <laughs> How long are you staying for, mate? I'm here trailer? for yeah. three weeks. A lot of people keep saying, why just uh, over on the west side? Why not go over to uh, Sydney and stuff? I said, well, I'll come to Perth first because somebody said it's... I may be wrong, by the way, and you can tell me off. Somebody said it's Little Britain, so... I'm yeah, like, it is, mate. North, north of Perth, 100%. Yeah, so like, <laughs> great, and I've walked around yeah. here and I've seen lots of British cars as well. The yeah. only thing is... I do food reviews as well, yep. uh, which I know you said you started on. Yeah, Where yeah. do you get proper fish and chips around here? British fish and chips. Fish, fish and chips? Yeah. Um, it's all shark. It's all shark, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah. mind eating shark because I won't feel yeah. guilty because they eat us, so, yep. you know. But and is it? I'm, I'm worried about snakes as well. Everybody's told me all these things, snakes, spiders. Actually, mate, mate, one there. <laughs> <laughs> you did have me then for a minute. <laughs> I haven't seen anything yet. Nah, mate, that's, yeah, it's in more bush. Oh, yeah. nothing yeah. out here, though? Nah, not, not, in, not, in the, not in the city, mate. All yeah. oh, right, yeah. well, what, what am I looking yeah, for? You do have a spider on your shoulder, though, mate. <laughs> <laughs> All the snakes yeah. and stuff. I don't want any of that. But yeah. no, it's been it's it's great so far. Fantastic yeah. day, really, yeah. really great. So you're covering the car scene here as well, and as well, you're going to do your food reviews here as well in Perth. Covering the yeah. car, I'm covering today, obviously. Yeah. I'm going to try and do. I'm going to try if I can uh, and rent an electric car. What's the electric car uh, scene around Australia? Has have they taken to it or no, mate? They haven't. Nah. Now to get anywhere, you've got a you know minimum of two hours driving. So you're going to get a bit of anxiety if you're driving an electric vehicle around here, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard of that, the range anxiety? With yeah, the well, yeah, I get, I get, you get You do yeah, get it. Yeah, I get <laughs> I don't forget, my Taycan in winter gets 220 mile tops. Uh, How many k's is that, mate? We, oh, you're in kilometres, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, I, I, tell us in the comments section. Yeah, tell us in the comments. I uh, can't well, work it out. Just say, just say it's 300 k's. Three, yeah, 300 yeah, k's. Maybe. You should have miles. I mean, you drive on the correct side of the road. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we had something in common. <laughs> yeah, you can't get far with that. Yeah. yeah you can't get to a local shopping centre with 300 kilometres. <laughs> <laughs> That's good to hear, because, yeah, yeah. you know, I mean, electric cars, no, nah, it won't catch, they're not, definitely not going to catch it over here. I did see yep. a Tesla yesterday, though, I have to admit. Yeah, there is a few around, yeah, yeah. you do see them, yeah. I, I always say the people who have electric cars, they're a bit strange, they cut the crusts off of their sandwiches, cut them into triangles, and they yeah. take a little picnic with them while they go and charge the car. Yeah. Uh, strange people. <laughs> 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 Thanks for that, mate. You're welcome. Yeah. Nice and to meet I hope you. you enjoy your stay here in Perth. Wonderful Thank Perth, and enjoy the beautiful weather. Thank uh, you. You just missed out on 45 degrees, mate. So I'm guessing you would have um, loved uh, that. Yeah, I would have loved that. It was great. This is too hot for me. I get off the plane, typical Brit. Oh, it's too hot. It's too hot. It's just whinging all the time. Go for a dip down the beach, mate. Cool off. It's so we, that's what we do here in WA. We've got a massive culture. Is the beach, mate? Yeah. No sharks. No. Nah. That's, that's all right. Then, I just guess. don't get the shark app because you get the alert every five minutes. What, and then you, yeah. <laughs> 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 Where are 
When's the next plane back to England? <laughs> get your knee, get, put your knees in the water. That's as deep as you can go, mate. <laughs> hey, if I see a shark, I'll batter it and add it with some chips. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, go Thank follow, go follow um, Lee at the Mark. Mac Master. The Mac Master. Yep. There we go. All right. Thank you, Lee. Enjoy. Damien, thank you for having a chat, mate. I love coming to these events because when I come to these events and I see our car, I don't know what it is. Yep. I love having a chat with the owners, mate. Tell us what it is. Oh, well, that's uh, reasonably obscure. It's a 1970 Reliance Scimitar. Uh, <laughs> it was built in the UK in the Midlands. Uh, by a company Reliant who made other infamous cars like the three-wheeler um, and it's fiberglass body on a steel chassis well wow. uh, and it has parts from a myriad of other cars so it's got uh, a v6 from a Capri Ford Capri uh, Jaguar suspension uh, Triumph parts so uh, and it was originally the first hatchback to incorporate bucket seats, a rear wiper, and a tailgate, so you could fit all your gear in it and go travelling with four people uh, reasonably quickly. So V6, tiny V6, isn't it? Yeah, it's not very big. I thought you said it's a three litre. Yeah, it's three litre. What? Uh, Looks like a bad. one litre. It's a uh, good weight distribution behind the front axle. Yeah, nice. Interior. Oh, original interior as well. Yep. Yep. All fixed up. Yep. And how long have you had the car, mate? I've owned it for 36 years. Mate, and I can see a for sale sign. How could you get rid of it after 36 years? Oh, well, it's time to spend it on more boring things like homes and houses. <laughs> um, <laughs> It was a student car and it was a pretty rough back then. Yep. Uh, but yeah, it's time for uh, a new keeper to take over. Yep. And uh, tell us the price, mate. How much are you looking for? Uh, around the mid 30s. Sort of Sorry? Uh, mid 30s. Mid 30s? Yeah, yep. negotiable. Um, and I suppose uh, we can, uh, any subscriber can contact yourself. Yep. If we need to get in touch. Yep, and you got your number there too. I'll capture the number yep, for, the you. for the viewers. That'd be excellent. Yep, and uh, rarity with the car, mate. Like I said, I love having a chat to the owners of cars when I don't know what the car is. Yep. So I've never seen one in Perth. Yep. How many, do you know how many are in Perth or? Uh, well, probably about three. Yep. Uh, so yeah, reasonably rare. Yep. And yeah, ready for the next owner and touring. No worries, mate. Thanks for having a chat. That's excellent. Thank you very and, uh, much. And enjoy the rest of your day. Excellent. Thank Wicked. you. Here is the man himself, <laughs> Mr. Cars with Character. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Dave. Um, oh, yeah, thanks for teeing I'll, up. I'll hold with... this dead cat under my nose. How's that? <laughs> uh, Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say Hitler. I look like Hitler. Oh, yeah. I didn't say that, but I didn't want to. I'm How are you, Dave? I'm, I'm flat out. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I've just taken a break from talking to people to come and talk with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, thank you again, mate, for teeing right. up with Lee, big YouTuber yeah, no here. All right, we've all got to work Master. together. We, 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 it's, it's a team. Yeah. It's a team effort across the world these days, isn't it, Like It is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so we, we just got to do it. And we've got to, all got to work together. What so, a fantastic yeah. day, though. Yeah, it's yep. brilliant. I've been doing this for 12 months now. I wouldn't have actually, I wouldn't, I'm, I'm not taking, I didn't want yeah. to jump in on screen. Yeah, uh, He's already filmed me once. This is the famous I'm, one. I'm, I'm holding, yeah. holding the camera. <laughs> but no, what a fantastic day. Brilliant, isn't it? It's just to see all the cars, for me, it brings back, my, you know, my childhood, yeah. seeing all the cars, because yeah. you've got so many British cars here as well, yeah. uh, which is good to see. Well, your reaction when you saw that Mark 1 Capri walk coming oh, in. Oh, yeah, Mark August. 1 Capri was yeah. just fantastic. Yeah. And the great thing, they're not all rusted up over here. So. Yeah. <laughs> It's <laughs> back in the UK, yeah. they, they don't exist anymore, they're yeah. gone. Uh, what well, you have to remember here as well is there's no MOT. There's no MOT? No. Why not? How do you know whether it's road safe or not? They, they trust you. <laughs> <laughs> That'd never work in England, yeah. but, or in Britain, I should say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've got a, um, a few old cars. Well, I've had a few old cars, 
and I'm putting together an old Mitsubishi at the moment. When that goes over the pits for its safety inspection, once it's registered, that's it. Really? Unless it, unless it becomes deregistered, yeah. then it has to go over the pits again. But as long as it's got a registration on it, sweet. How many cars have you got? Uh, the moment three. Three cars. I've got the Commodore wagon. Yeah. Which They're is, all the cars on his shirt there, mate. He's got a thousand. Oh, yeah. no, I, it, yeah. <laughs> I bought this specially for this event. This is uniform. This is. Uh, I've got the Commodore station wagon, which is the everyday brick coming down here. Yeah. I've got a Mark V Golf. Oh, which, nice. Which I think your other half's got a Golf. Yeah, she's got a Golf. So, yeah, yeah. Um, that's slightly broken at the moment. And then I've got the Mitsubishi, that I'm, uh, which is an 88 model hatchback, which I'm putting together again as part of the channel. And then um, history, I've had Series 1 RX-7, Riley Elf, uh, Mitsubishi Scorpion, which is a Sapporo in other areas, Toyota Crown, MS, something or other. Uh, I've had lots. <laughs> <laughs> My favourite car yeah. because I've had, I was just yeah. saying, yeah. I've had um, eight Boxsters, I had a Porsche Macan, uh, I, had a, I had a Range Rover for one night, which is good because yeah. normally... But it got stolen, didn't it? No, no, I, I said... It would have done, would have done. Either that or it would have got set on fire. But yeah. <laughs> um, and I, I gave that back, I just didn't like it, I just thought yeah. it was terrible. And then I went to an M3 and an M4 BMW, yeah. and they were insanely fast. Yeah. But And then I went back to Porsche again, I've always gone back to yeah. Porsche, or Porsche, yeah. should I say. Back in um, the 80s, I used to work for a Porsche dealership in WI. You did? Yeah. Uh, you like the 911s though? Oh yeah. 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 Not. My, my, when I first started the, the job, they said, oh, sorry, we haven't got a, a Porsche to give you. Do you mind taking the Audi? Because uh, they were an Audi. Uh, so I took an Audi. They rang me back there and said, we sold the Audi, bring it back. I said, would you mind taking a 911? I said, no, no problem at all. I was only 20 years old at the time, so no problem whatsoever. <laughs> and it was a 1974 2.7 with mechanical fuel injection. It was bright orange with a tan tartan interior <laughs> and a semi-automatic gearbox. So there's no heavy clutch on it. It was a brilliant car to drive. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, I should have bought it. It was $27,000 at, at that time. What's it worth now? It'd be worth probably more now. Yeah. It'd be definitely worth more yeah. if it kept in good yeah. condition. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I do like the Audis though because you climb into an Audi, right, and you see yourself as marketing this is, as Tony Stark, Iron Man, because he yeah. was an Audi. But then you look in the rear view mirror and realise that you're not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> I moved the rear view mirror out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> but if you had yeah. any classic car from here today, what would it be? Citroen 2 CV. That's a good answer, though. Yeah, that is a good answer. Cla that, that was in the James Bond movie, wasn't it? Yeah, that was, was in it? Roger Moore's days. Roger Moore's yeah. days, yeah. Uh, live and let die. Live and let die, yeah. that's it. Yeah. You see, that's the thing. Yeah. With cars, right, you put these classic cars, you can put them into old movies, old TV yeah. series, etc. But if you've got like an electric car now, it wouldn't have the same thing. If you yeah. look at American TV shows with Starsky and Hutch, yeah. and that was there, was that the Ford? Grand Torino or something uh, uh, I think yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, it was a Torino, oh uh, yeah. 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 Yeah, well you've got classic cars like that. You've even got Peugeot that Columbo drove. Yeah. Or, or Im imagine the professionals, Bondi and Doyle driving Bondi around Doyle. in an EV. Yeah, driving, pulling yeah. up in an EV yeah. instead yeah. of a Capri yeah. with no sound yeah. to it. <laughs> you might as well turn up in a, I don't know, yeah. a Sinclair C5, yeah. it? just, yeah. nah, not, yeah. the, not the same. Yeah. And that's what I mean, cars with character. Yeah. And there is, that's what they haven't got now. Well, that's me, isn't it? That's you, <laughs> cars with character. <laughs> cars with yeah, big series. shout out, yeah. Dave, cars and character. <laughs> YouTube, socials, website, yeah. Yeah. Weebly, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. Yep. It's uh, carswithcharacter.weebly.com Yep. Because I, I don't want to pay for a website, I get the free one. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like you're from England, from Yorkshire. <laughs> I'm from Lancashire. You're from Lancashire? Yeah. My mum was from Lancashire. Yeah, well, there you Ashton go. Underline. Oh, well, mom, my mum's from Brighton. Oh, from down south. Yeah, and then she moved up to Lancashire in the 50s. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. <laughs> Got well, you've got better weather here, stay here, you better oh, yeah, here. Yeah. Definitely better yeah, here. Yeah. Your cars keep longer. <laughs> I'm Jesse from Mercedes-Benz Perth. I'm a salesman there. Uh, we're just here with the brand new C63 SE Performance. So it's been released for five days. We thought we'd just bring it down, show off the new tech, show off the plug-in hybrid setup, the F1 tech in the car. It's an insane drive, much, much improved from the previous C63. It hasn't got that V8 rumble, but once you sit in the driver's seat and go down the street, you'll realise it's a, a much more competent package than what we've had previously, and it also looks the part. So, yeah, um, zero, to, zero to 100 in about three seconds. Um, 
680 horsepower, 1,000 new meters of torque. Wow. Uh, but also paired with obviously the new, new check inside the car, so the new interior uh, really sets it apart from its previous model. And um, yeah, it's just a really, really nice car. Very nice to drive in comfort and an absolute beast when you put it in sport mode, race mode. So yeah, happy to bring it down just for people to look inside and have a feel. Um, and you know, hopefully take it for a test drive at some point. Awesome. Yeah. Now, mate, I see you got the F1 shirt there. Yeah. Tell us about, and you mentioned technology. Is there any technology taken from F1 yeah, to so incorporate into this vehicle? Definitely, yeah. So yeah. the. Because um, you did mention hybrid, didn't you? Yeah, and plug in so, hybrid. Tell me what that means, mate. Yeah, basically, yeah. so this new setup is a four cylinder um, paired with a hybrid setup. So uh, 350 kilowatts from the four cylinder um, paired with 150 kilowatt plug in hybrid battery setup. So the battery pack coincides with the four cylinder to produce a total of 500 kilowatts. So 350 from the from the motor, 150 from the battery. And um, basically they use F1 tech um, to cool the electric battery pack down. Um, and also uh, turbo technology from F1 um, to sort of get that performance to a point where acceleration is absolutely insane. Um, but also all the suspension, tuning, brakes, all those sorts of things. F1 derived, so um, it's just yeah, basically the combination of technology they've been developing the last 15 years through F1. It's all comprised into this car, along with our SL just next to it. Um, yeah, basically it's just the new, the new top dog for us uh, at this price point. And um, yeah, it's it's the next evolution of this car. So yep. yeah, definitely, it's, it's a really really competent car, and um, it handles very 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 differently from the previous gen in the best way possible. So all wheel drive now, rear axle steering. Um, oh, all wheel drive you said? All wheel drive, yeah. So wow. the previous model was yeah. rear wheel drive only. So yeah. um, obviously most people would know C63s as these violent V8s that just are very tail happy. Yeah. Uh, this is pretty much the opposite ethos to that. So this car is is like a go-kart. It, it handles, it doesn't lose grip. Uh, launching it with all 500 kilowatts, you don't feel like you're going to drive into a tree. So <laughs> yeah, so it's a little yeah. bit safer. Um, at the same time, just as violent as the old car, just in different ways. So yeah, all-wheel drive setup, rear axle steering, um, and the electronic stability control is just on another level. So yeah, it won't it won't break traction, but that's a good thing. So <laughs> yeah, it is, mate. Yep. Yeah, especially around the track, it's going to be more competent than the previous car. And this car itself is rivaling cars twice its price range now. So in terms of performance, you're seeing very similar performance levels to our bigger cars and to other competing brands as well. So yeah, it's a, it's a standout car. Definitely. Yep. Yep. And uh, drum roll, please. Price, mate. Price. <laughs> so starting price for this car is around 203,000 drive away. Uh, that's a base car. And then fully option, you're looking around 230. So in comparison to the previous gen, it's actually around the same price. So it's not a massive price hike from the previous car um, for all the extra tech you get. So the pre we still have uh, one C63 V8 coupe available in Australia at the moment. Uh, that's at our dealership. That car is probably around the 210 mark. So you're paying actually less for a base car in the new configuration than the old car. Uh, and you're getting a lot more for your money. <laughs> yeah. yeah, including a full touchscreen instead of the old rotisserie dial. <laughs> yeah. And socials, mate, where can people follow yeah, you so guys? Yeah. Mercedes-Benz Perth, hit us up on Instagram. I think we've got a TikTok now, Mercedes-Benz Perth. So we're on all social medias. Mm. Um, you'll see all the new release for, um, all the release content for the C63, G-Wagons, GT four doors. We're releasing the CLE in the coming months. CLE 53 is coming soon as well. GLC 43, 63. So lots of good stuff coming. So definitely keep tuned, stay in tune with us. And yeah, uh, you'll catch us on all social media platforms. And uh, yeah, definitely come by, subscribe, follow. It's a little bit evil, doesn't it? <laughs> something out of the, looks like we got something out of the Adams family here. <laughs> what a donk that is. Hey, here he is, how are you? Yeah, g'day, how are you going? Who owns this beast here? Is this your other one? Yeah. <laughs> Mate, you've got too many cars. I know. <laughs> Michael. How are you, buddy? Good, mate. Thank you for having a chat. What a beautiful beast this yeah. is. Thank you, mate. Yeah, I got it out of, um, out of uh, the USA, imported it myself from uh, Classic Car Studios in uh, 
St. Louis, Missouri. So, um, yeah, she's good. It's 454, 4 hour lady, full with disc brakes, um, roughly about 400, 450 horsepower. But I'm building another motor for it now, a little bit, a bit more horsepower in it. But you can always have more horsepower, but where you can go, I don't know. But yeah, no, she's not bad. Um, it's got nice wheels on it. Um, I drive it daily, mate. So yep. it's nothing that, you know, you put in the shed and leave it there. I enjoy driving it, mate, and I enjoy people looking at it as well. Mate, model year, mate? 68 C10. So um, everybody wants these vehicles. They're a wanted item now. Yep. Um, I've always wanted one, and it popped up at the right price, right time, right place, and I'm bought it and imported it not as is you've done no done nothing mate as is wow yeah the only yeah. thing i did is i put a hydro boost uh braking system on it that's all just to give it a bit more braking power but as is mate all leather interior the wheels lsd the motor gearbox everything yeah so um no she's nice to drive mate i enjoy driving it what's the red it's i love the red mate ferrari red is it or mate everybody asks me yeah. i have no idea what red is <laughs> I, I couldn't even tell you when people ask i'd say it's mate it's red Custom, you know, isn't it? I think yeah. so, mate. I yeah. don't know. Um, being American, might have been half a dozen tins left over and they've just made up a <laughs> colour. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, yeah. I, no one can even tell me what colour it is, mate. I've asked paint guys. They just say, we have no idea. Yep. So, But it's nice. Yep. So you know? plans for the car, you said you're going to put a bigger blue, big block in it, are yeah. you? Yeah, big yeah. supercharger hanging out the bonnet, mate? Nah, the only problem about supercharger is you end up with the boys in blue following you everywhere. <laughs> so. uh, no, I'll go a 468 yeah. stroker. Um, I might even go McGee injection yet. I'm not too sure. I'm still tossing up about that, you know. Uh, but yeah, definitely a new motor, mate. Definitely. So. And um, you said you mentioned you had a business, mate. In WA. Yeah, yeah. I own West Coast Chev parts. So anything American, um, I import. I import vehicles for people. So if you've got a car in America and you're thinking about importing, we can do all the paperwork. We yeah. can handle everything like that. Um, just bear in mind the Aussie dollar's pretty bad at the moment. So. Yeah. Um, that's what makes it hard and containers got up, but yeah, we, yeah. we do all that so yeah. but anything for Chevrolet's give me a call um, Look me up on the uh, website. It's West Coast Chev parts in Perth and if I can help you out by all means come down and socials mate You got face here and Instagram and that? Uh, I've got Facebook just started now because yep. my I'm not into this technology stuff So my IT guy setting it all up. <laughs> I'm old school mate I just use mobile phones for ringing and that's it But yep. he's setting it up and we're in the process and finishing off the website So there'll be a huge yep. website where you'll be able to go on there purchase stuff We can deliver it or you can come in house and pick it up Nice. So um, Facebook, it's going to be under Chev. Uh, West Coast Chev. West Coast Chev. Yeah. It's already started. It's not a lot. It's just starting. Yeah. And we're just getting following. And like I said, we're just putting ads up as we go. Um, I leave all that to my IT guy because I'm not into that stuff, mate. I don't even know how to do it. Yep. Don't even know how to work Facebook properly, mate. <laughs> Old school, mate. I know how to do it, but not yep. creating ads. But yeah, look us up, mate. Okay, mate. So you said you import things from the States. I had a guy last night at Motivation, actually. If you watch him, mate, in the R34 Skyline, he's looking at exporting a car to sell to the United States. So do you, do you export as well? Or? I can organise that, but yeah. depending on where he's going, you cannot export to California. California will ban it unless it meets emission controls. So you have to export it to Texas or Dallas or somewhere like that. There's a bit more involved. Um, but you can do it, but it's not costly, it's just a lot of paperwork involved. So before that person even thinks about doing it, check everything before you even think about it. And if he has any problems or he wants any information, tell him to give me a call, mate. Yep. I'll be able to put him onto the right people to do it or I can assist him with it. So, but it's not as easy as you think, mate. Yep. So, and you're the man to come to, mate. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Okay, humans, thanks for watching. Massive day today. Big thanks to Dave at Cars With Character. Check out his website and all his awesome merch he's got. And he's got a YouTube channel as well and the socials. And um, Lee also from the Mac Master. Thanks for the um, chat, mate, and hope you enjoy Australia and uh, what um, food and the car scene we have over here in the beautiful Perth. And watch out for the snakes, mate. <laughs> Oh yeah, what have you got here, mate? Oh, you got the immobiliser. Yeah, it's the market immobiliser. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't immobilise the car. Check out this bit. Check out his immobiliser. It doesn't immobilise the car, but it does immobilise the person trying to steal it. <laughs> Look at the immobiliser. <laughs> I'll turn it off. Really. Oh, I love that, mate. Yeah.